Well, hey there, everybody. Kay here on the homestead. And if you have seen my recent video about what's in my rainwater <laughs> and my cistern water, this is the most stimulating comment thread I've ever had in a video. And it's kind of going viral. A lot of people are seeing it. A lot of people are commenting because water is life. Water affects everyone. How, what did they say? We can't go three days without water? More than three days without water? Something like that. So, many people have had really serious experiences with uh, their water being contaminated. Other people have great suggestions about how they are getting their water pure or more pure. You know, a lot of people just say, can uh, leave comments like great job or something um, on other videos but on this video people are leaving so much information they're expressing their views and I really recommend that you take some time and go through those comments right at the moment we are waiting for an experiment that I'm conducting here the Sun just went down it went down just as I was setting this up and you know when it decides to go down it goes down like that <laughs> you may have noticed that a friend suggested that I conduct an experiment now science well chemistry was not was probably my worst class in high school and I only had one of one class in high school nothing in college so I find it fascinating but I'm not you know experienced at it but he suggested doing three jars I'm using quart mason jars three jars of tap water distilled water and tap water that has gone through my Alexa pure which is very similar to the Berkey I wash them good with hot soapy water rinse them out I wanted all of the conditions to be exactly the same so I heated three pans and I brought the one quart of water. I poured the water into the quart jar and then I poured from the quart jar into the pan. And so I kept everything separate, the lids are labeled, and I set them on the table together. Each of them were steaming a little bit with a little bit of bubbles. The tea bags, I'm using Earl Grey, and I put them all in at the same time and just covered them with the lid.
I just want to take a moment if you're new to my channel maybe you have just found me from the rainwater video I am on a nine plus acre property mostly wooded but I have some cleared areas where I'm developing gardens and I've just passed my second anniversary here after starting my gardening life in LA in a very very tiny garden so if you are starting out and you're just starting your garden you just have pots you have limited sun limited space you'll find all kinds of helpful videos on my channel from the first eight years of my gardening small space gardening container gardening seeding harvesting preserving food cooking videos everything so now I'm doing all that and more here on this larger property and I'm dealing with because there I only had city water filtered for us to drink. At first we had spring water delivered and then that company that had been in business for decades, Hinkley and Schmidt, got sold out to a bigger water company. They stopped delivering in glass and went to plastic. I put a water filter under my sink. I put water filters on my showers and tub but they don't filter out that much. They really don't. So it's hard to find that uh, just in a, in a small filter on a shower. But you, you can, it helps. It definitely helps. So now I'm here and I am trying to learn about the condition of my water for, from my cistern, for my garden, and for myself inside the house. Because I do cook and drink filtered tap water as a rule. I have not drunk any of the cistern water. My plumber was here day before yesterday and we had some discussions so I'll be bringing you the next part in that series. So I hope you'll subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. Scroll down and click all so you won't miss anything right here on the homestead. Now today it is very warm it's in the 60s I think and very rainy and it was supposed to be just and maybe it's still coming I haven't checked today but we're supposed to get this deluge of four to six inches this week which is why I did not leave on my trip today to go down to see Danny and Wanda at Deep South Homestead I am planning to go down there hopefully before Christmas if it works out and if not, then maybe there will be a warm few days in January I can pop down there. But anyway, I hope you'll subscribe and follow my journey here. And I hope to bring you entertaining, informational, and inspiring videos. Okay, so let's go back in and let's check and see how the tea is looking. Distilled water is the cleanest, purest water you can have. And what I was noticing is that the tea is much lighter than the tea in both the filter and the tap water. I expected to see a big difference between the Alexa Pure and the tap water, but I didn't when I came out. So I am very curious to hear your thoughts on this. Why do you suppose that is? And are you aware that distilled water is the purest water? Many people have written in the comments that they distill their water or they at least boil it. So that is something to consider. On the other hand, people have written and said, I drink out of my well. I've been doing it for 25 years. We don't get sick. We've built up an immunity to whatever's in there. And so that's fantastic. I mean, we want our body, we don't want to so protect our bodies that it's, it's not working to fight off pathogens. So this is a lot of food for thought, you know, um, and I don't have any answers. I am just exploring the questions. So let's go inside and see how they look. Actually, I decided to come out here. If you think it's dark out here, you can just imagine how dark it is inside. Okay, now you were looking at it this direction before. 
I expected the tap water to be the darkest. It's not. Really, the Alexa Pure is even darker. Slightly. And I don't know why that would be. There is just a little bit less water in it. That's my fault. But I don't know if that would really make the difference. There is a foam still uh, around the top of the tap water. You see the foam on the tap water tap and virtually none on the Alexa Pure and I mean the, 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 the little bubbles right here you see the distilled water is so much lighter so much purer so why is the tea so much darker you can see you can actually visibly see that the Alexa Pure is darker than the tap water why do you think that is so I wouldn't want to drink this because there's still foam on it you know it's not a beer for crying out loud but which one had you all rather drink? Virtually all the bubbles are gone here. But this one, no, this one just has foam. I mean, obviously, <laughs> if you're a tea drinker and you want a good, a good jolt of caffeine you think oh I'm drinking black tea it should be black <laughs> this looks like green tea but I assure you it's all the same it's all the same Earl Grey so let me know what you think leave me a comment and let's continue this discussion because as I said water is life water is our life and we have to do what we can to survive the onslaught of all of the runoff and whatever's coming down from the sky and everything else. So, um, you know, our agricultural fields are being plowed. That's going up into the atmosphere. That's coming back down. They're spraying biosolids or liquid biosolids, whatever that is, uh, on the agricultural fields now. So they're taking fecal, human fecal waste and turning it into a product that they can spray on the agricultural fields. So it's no wonder that just <laughs> we are bombarded and they're putting fluoride in the toothpaste. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So many people told me the history of fluoride. I knew a little bit, but I didn't know what all hundreds of people have told me in the comments. So I, if you're new to this whole thing, I I encourage you to look through the comment thread and see what people have to say because it's a real education. So people are talking from their own experience, what they've learned, everybody is at a different place in their awakening and their knowledge, but God commands us to be discerning. And so let's do, okay? And with that, I'll sign off and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.